guys, it's Abby. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a planner supplies haul. It's really, really small. I don't have that much. Um, I did go to several places. I went to Hobby Lobby, Target, and Michaels, but I only bought a little bit while I was at each store. And then, well, I bought a lot at Target, but not a lot of planner stuff. And then I also have an Etsy sticker order. So that's what I'm going to start with. So these are from the store made by Alyssa. Um, they're really, really nice stickers, really nice quality, and she's really sweet. She actually reimbursed me for these because of how long it took them to get to me. She shipped them on September 9th, uh, 13th, and they didn't get to me until October 19th. And so she'd reimbursed me on the 9th. So anyways, but yeah, go ahead and go support her store. I'll link her down below. She's really, really sweet. And then she also has a Facebook group that you can join. And I think there's a lot of coupon codes and stuff that she puts up. And like you get early notice for sales or releases and things like that. So here's her sampler sheet. Super cute. Oh, and by the way, the reason that she reimbursed my order instead of just replacing it is because over half of the stickers I ordered have been discontinued. So I'm really sorry that I'm showing you discontinued stickers, but you might be able to find something similar from other shops. And I'll tell you which ones she still has as I go, because I checked. <laughs> Um, so I ordered these tassel banners. These ones I could not find, but I feel like she had something very, very similar. And she may just have had these and I didn't see them. And her stickers are also really, really affordable. Like most of them were less than $2 a sheet and they're really high quality. Bought these YouTube icons. These she still has. Um, I got these little Avengers because I just thought they were totally adorable. These have been discontinued, but she has other characters. And then I bought these pineapples and these flamingos with these with these strips of pineapple washi tape at the bottom. These have also been discontinued. I'm sorry that I'm showing you these, but I was so excited I wanted to show you. So this is what's, what she calls her vintage floral set. These she does still have. So we've got the flowers and the mason jars, and I thought that was really pretty. And then I actually bought the coordinating boxes, which is funny because I don't have an Erin Condren or a Happy Planner yet. I'm buying one, though. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to buy it for next year. I'm really torn. Anyway, <laughs> um, so then I bought the coordinating box set, and this one she does still have, and I think this set is like four dollars for the two sheets. It's really, really maybe a little more, but it's really cost effective for her stickers are really cost effective. And then both of these have been discontinued, which I'm really sorry about. This is her pink lemonade set. Her old pink lemonade. She's a different pink lemonade one now that actually has little lemons on it. It's really cute. And then this is her coral and mint, I think is what it's called, or teal, uh coral and teal or something. Um, and then those have been discontinued as well, but these she didn't. And this is what drew me to her store is that she had watermelon boxes and washi. I wanted actually watermelon washi tape and I couldn't find any. So this was the next best thing. So I actually bought two of these because I loved it so much. So she is located in Australia. So if you order stickers from her, it will take a while for them to come. Um, but they're really, really good stickers and I think that they're definitely worth the wait. I was really, really excited. And so I am going to place an order from her again in the near future, partly because she was so great about reimbursing me when my stickers didn't come. So I definitely want to place another order with her. Okay. So next I just have a couple things from Target. Um, I bought two stacks of sticky notes. I bought these wood grain ones that say, etc. on the top. I had five, I want to say pads of sticky notes in my cart and was like, I do not need this many sets of post-it notes. I just don't. And then I bought these hexagonal ones, which these, a couple of them did get bent, but I figure, I think it's three when I'm looking at it, maybe four, but that's such a minor deal. Next I have Michael's. I just bought three things at Michael's. I bought three of these dollar Christmas sticker books. So the first one I bought is called Snow and Ice, and I think this one's like the least Christmassy of them all. Um, it does have Christmas trees and ornaments, but it does have just some like wintery trees like these don't have any ornaments on them or anything so um and like all the snowflakes and stuff i thought these could be used even in into january i thought these were pretty and then i bought the santa soda fountain set i just thought the i loved honestly main reason i bought it is because i loved this sticker which is really funny that i bought it for the one sticker i just thought it was so adorable like the, i don't like the little people very much but i like all the little cookies and the goodies and all that. So I think this is really cute, except I don't really like, I like the snowmen. Okay. The snowmen are cute, but I just don't like the people. Like they're a little too cutesy for me. So yeah. And then I bought, the last one I bought is called Scandinavian Nativity. And this just appealed to me. I don't know why. I loved all the different like textures and patterns that the little people had. And, um, I know that the wise men are different. I don't know if Mary and Joseph are different. Oh yeah. Look, Mary's in like a different position right there. She's kneeling instead. So they are a little bit different, which I didn't know before. That's really cool. Um, 
And I just thought this was a really, really cute set with the nativity and um, all the different wise men and stuff. So I really liked that. And then the last place I went was Hobby Lobby, and I don't have very much from Hobby Lobby either. Um, I loved these. I saw these stickers, and I just absolutely loved them. They just appealed to me, and I figured that they would be great for my planner or cards or scrapbooking. Ah, sorry. So these were $2.49, but I used a coupon. And so there's all kinds of different sayings, and so they wouldn't fit like a full box, but if you wanted something smaller, these would be perfect. Or if you're like, you have an itty bitty planner or you like the itty bitty look, then these would be great for you. And then the last thing I got, this isn't planner related, but I'm gonna show you anyways. These are from the Mink, the Heidi Swap foil uh, machine. I don't have this, these are wall prints, but I just liked the wall prints, even without foil on them. So I probably won't even foil these. Um, I just, I'm going to buy frames from Dollar Tree and just frame them and hang them up on my wall because I really like how they looked, even though they were designed to be foiled, which I don't know exactly how that works, but Oop, I can get it out. There we go. Okay. So there are one, two, three, four, five wall prints, I think. So there's this little one that says be beautiful. I love the watercolor there. <clears throat> you are loved. Capture. See, they're so simple. I just love these. I'm like, I could just put these on my wall now. A door. I don't know if it's, you're supposed to say j'adore or if it's just a door. I don't know. I love us. This one I may like make a heart to put here and hang it in my bedroom. And then and. An ampersand. A really, really elegant ampersand. So I really, really am happy with the stuff that I got. And I'm so happy to share this with you guys. And I will see you next time. Bye.